Welcome! In this tutorial, we're going to take a tour of the account admin area on ExamBank step by step. Let's get started. Click on Account Admin, and here I'll need to sign in with my admin password and username. If you forgot your password, you can have it sent to your email here. Okay, now that I've signed in, the first thing is that I can see how many logins or practice tests I have left in my account. 589. Good to know. Let's explore the first section. If I needed to, I could add more logins here. Next, I can see my purchase history here. Now, things are going to get interesting, especially if you haven't had a look at the account admin area before this. You're about to see how to get a really clear picture of how and when your logins have been consumed. Let's take a look at past usage, first by date. Clicking on the date gives me even more information about the tests, including the time of day, the exam name, and the IP address from where the test was accessed. For a more summarized view, we can simply take a look at what tests were opened with this username and password this school year and last. Isn't it nice to see just how those logins have been used in the account usage section? The next area deals with setting up account restrictions. If you prefer your account is used only during certain times of the day, that can be managed here. There are different settings to explore. If you want to lock usage down to a specific IP address, you can do so here. And finally, if you prefer only certain grade levels are used, this link lets you create those parameters. I'd like to point out that you must click this button to make any changes take effect. And that applies to all areas in the account admin menu. The last section deals with general account details. You may update your passwords easily using this link, although a username cannot be altered here. This link lets you specify if or how long you want ExamBank to allow students to automatically log in. In some situations, it's helpful to skip the step of entering your password to write a new test, but it's within your control to set that preference. Moving along, if your contact information is changed, you can update it here. It's pretty self-explanatory. And the last option allows you to choose which updates you'd like to receive from ExamBank. The default setting here is often undecided, which still allows all updates to reach you. The account reminders is important, as this is how ExamBank lets you know when your account runs low on logins or when they've all been used up. These emails are the most common type of communication from ExamBank to you. Other updates we provide include promos and scholarships and contest notifications. The annual Noggin Hagen challenge is free to play, offers awesome prizes, and is a real boredom buster. A tutorial about this contest will be available soon. Selecting Please Send on any of these settings means you'll accept emails from ExamBank. Selecting Please Do Not Send will block them. We hope you enjoyed walking through the account admin menu with us, and thanks for watching.